Welcome to Bar Chart series of educational webinars. Are you a buy and hold investor looking to enhance your investment strategy? In today's session, we'll explore the powerful tool and technical analysis known as the Golden Cross. This, we'll dive into this popular indicator, which is based on the 50 and 200 day moving average crossover. And we'll discuss how it can help identify bullish trends in the stock market. We'll cover a wide range of key points, including the average historical returns associated with the Golden Cross, how to confirm signals, and how broader market conditions can impact its effectiveness. We'll also discuss some simple risk management strategies to help you protect your investments. Plus, you'll learn when to buy as a signal and when to add to a watch list for further due diligence. So whether you're new to technical analysis or a seasoned investor, this webinar is designed to provide you with valuable insights and practical tips for using the Golden Cross to improve your investment outcomes. Hello, everyone. My name is John Rowland. Bar Chart Senior Market Strategist, and as I mentioned in the opening monologue, the Golden Cross is a simple but powerful technical analysis tool that can be employed by the passive and active investor alike. But like all technical tools, it's just one piece of information to help us make an informed investment decision. Joining me today is our moderator and my partner, Bar Charts Project Director, Gene Baker. Hello, Gene. Hello, John, and hello, everybody out there. I see everybody's busy in the chat window saying hello from all over the uh, all over the country, all over the world, actually. So great that everybody's been able to connect to our new webinar platform, and we're happy to have you here. I'm so excited, Gene, about this new platform, and I know that you are as well. Yeah, we are. So if you haven't found the chat window, it's over on the right hand side of the screen. Um, and you can actually collapse that and expand it if you want to go full screen with what John is going to be showing you here shortly. But we're really happy to have everybody join us. Uh, I'm going to put this up on the screen just because I can. Um, we've already had a couple questions about whether or not this is being recorded. Uh, the big difference with today's session is, uh, well, there's really not that much difference in um, the way that you're viewing it today, but uh, we do put all of our sessions, the recording is going to be on our webinar archive page a little bit after we finish up here today and also on bar charts youtube page so uh, look for those recordings a little bit later on this afternoon other than that yeah feel free to post any kind of question that you want to uh, send over to john as your moderator today i'm going to be Looking at your questions, John's going to take some time a little bit later on in the session to answer things that he can. Uh, and I might also suggest that if you don't get your question answered in today's session, just email support at barchart.com. Okay, so I've talked long enough, uh, John. I think it's <laughs> I think it's your turn to talk. <laughs> Thanks, Gene. Yeah, make sure those questions are on point or about our subject matter. And you remember that we can't answer any specific financial questions, you know, like a specific stock or something. And don't ask me what the winning lottery numbers are either. So I don't know that answer. <laughs> hey, John, what, yeah. what what are the winning lottery numbers? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew that, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get going then. All right. Just a reminder that today is for educational purposes only and decisions to buy, sell, and hold any um security commodity or other investment involves risk and is best made by the advice of a qualified financial professional, which I am not. Um, and that under no circumstances shall we be liable for any loss or damages that you or anyone incurs as a result of any trading activity that you or anyone engages in based on the information or material that you receive through barchart.com and our services. Okay. So what is the Golden Cross? 
And well, the Golden Cross is this popular technical analysis method that uses the 50 day moving average as it crosses above the 200 day moving average. Now, the theory behind this is twofold. First, a moving average is a lagging indicator, meaning that it is derived from past price action. So in order to have an uptrend or an upsloping moving average, price tends to stay above the moving average. And when you combine two moving averages in comparison, this amplifies the probability of a greater or stronger trend. Now, which is why it has been favored by buy and hold traders. Their belief is that the crossover of the faster 50-day moving average relative to the slower 200-day moving average is an indication that price action is going to turn or has turned favorable for a long-term uptrend. Now, the broader market conditions can have an impact on the reliability of the Golden Cross. Now, think of it as in, two, in this in two ways. First, uh, the general market, the larger indexes, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, if they're in a downtrend, that could possibly weigh on a stock specific. And two, if a stock specific is in a downtrend and price fails to stay above these two moving averages, then regardless of the Golden Cross signal, the stock specific might not be a good candidate. So here's an example of these aforementioned conditions displayed in just one chart. Now, what are we looking at? Well, this is a chart of a nondescript company whose price action for the last year has been trending lower. Now, during that time, the broader market, as we know, has been as well. The black line here represents the 200-day moving average. The blue line, the 50-day. Notice that as both lines trend lower from left to right, the price, for the most part, stays below the lines. Again, reinforcing this concept of moving averages lagging behind price action. Then we see price recaptures or moves above the 50-day, the blue line, and then the 50 turns positive. Again, that delayed reaction. The golden cross signal occurs when the 50, the blue line, crosses above the 200, the black line, and that, you can see, is in the far right side. Now, because price has failed to maintain both moving averages, at this moment in time, this would probably be a poor candidate. Now, the factors could be because the broader market is still in a downtrend, or in this case, for this stock, the longer-term stock trend, this 200-day moving average, is a very strong downward sloping line. And that's maybe why we're seeing the price below these levels. Hey, John? Yeah. I'm going to step in here for a moment. It looks like a lot of people are having buffering issues or sound issues. So what I'm going to suggest is you go ahead and refresh your browser window if, if you're having issues like that. Uh, if you reload the page, a lot of people are saying that that uh, fixes the problem and the buffering issues. Um, so yeah, go ahead and just try to refresh the page if you're having sound or uh, chat issues, okay? Thanks, Jean. Bugs, right? New system always you know, going to be bugs. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah, All so right. go ahead and uh, refresh the page, please. Okay, so what investors or that who use this Golden Cross do is, is they collect the candidates that have uh, signaled the Golden Cross and they put them in, let's say, a basket or in the case with bar chart, a watch list. And then that's going to allow us to do additional filtering process. Now, be it me more technical analysis which we'll cover and look at in a moment, 
or it could be fundamental analysis. For example, you know, looking at PE ratios or dividend yields or earnings per share, or, or for instance, you know, uh, s- sector strength could be one of those fundamentals that we look for. Now, the 50 day is a lot of past price data, and it takes time for the 50 day to turn positive and also for it to cross over our 200. So there's really no rush for us to enter at the initial signal of the Golden Cross. Remember, we're in for this for the long game. And let's make sure that we're confident in our signal. Now, why do we do this? Well, because there is some data that shows the historical returns of the Golden Cross improve with time. Now, a research done by LPL research firm and Bloomberg, they, going back to 1950, there have been 36 Golden Crosses in the S&P 500 index. And the average monthly or the average gains, was, for instance, the monthly gains is only about 1.5% or 1.5%. Three-month gains is around somewhere in a range of between 2.7 and 4.2%. Six-month gains, just a little bit more than 6%. And a golden cross signal that has been active for more than 12 months, the average gain on the S&P 500 is 10.5%. So now you can understand even if we delay our decision based on the Golden Cross itself, by one month, we'll still enjoy a majority of these longer-term gains. Now, this is on the other side of the coin is, you know, once a trend develops, you know, holding positions for even uh, longer time frames even in the face of, let's say, a price decline or a short-term uh, poor performance on the stock, right? what we might do or what we could do is just wait for that reversal signal. In other words, when the 50 crosses below the 200-day. Now, this is known as the death cross. Now, we're not going to go into details about that. But again, trusting in the system and holding on for positions for longer period times. So this is really kind of why part of our fundamental diligence, and we want to make sure that we have that. But from uh, a technical standpoint, what we want to do to enhance our decision is use other confirmational indicators. Now, there are many different indicators indicators that we can use, but just something simple like an an increase in volume that would tell us that we're seeing a commitment of institutional traders or that they're putting money to work or a new high. This is a way to confirm a continuation of our trend. And again, you know, I give you a suggestion here of on the fundamental side, you know, positive news or a good earnings report that could help enhance price activity. So here's a good example of patience. So notice that we got the golden cross signal all the way over there in the left, that little um, red circle. And, but yet price had yet to get above the moving averages. Now, notice, though, the difference here from the previous example where price hadn't gotten above uh, the moving averages. Here we can see that the blue line is upsloping, and so is our 200-day. You can see our 200-day was slightly upsloping, and then it kind of goes a little sideways. So, But not until price could get above both of these two moving averages and both of these moving averages turned upward, did the Golden Cross become a reliable signal. Now, notice in this example, the delay was about two months. And again, another reason why we just don't jump into 
a position just because we see a golden cross signal. Confirmational or confirmation. So not only, well, in this example here, this is, I would say, is a better potential candidate. And what we might just need here is one more piece of evidence. So not only is price above our averages before we get the crossover, before we get the golden cross, but you can see that prior to the golden cross, we got what is called a gap. And this is an upward gap, which is a bullish sign. But we're still waiting for an additional piece of information, that confirmation. In this case, what we probably want to wait for is a new high. And in this case, it looks like that new high would be somewhere above the $197,200 level. And this would confirm an uptrend. And how do we define uptrends? Well, uptrends are a series of higher highs and higher lows. So the confirmation here would be that higher high. But now that we have some ground rules in terms of what we want to look for or have an idea of what we want to look for, you know, where can we start our process or where should we jump off from? So one of the pages on bar chart is our investing tab. And inside of here, you're going to find a multiple of investing ideas in categories. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bar chart screener. And there you can see all these, a lot of these different strategies. And these are all being screened on current market conditions. But here's the golden cross, and let's just click on that. And what this is now doing is it's telling me today these are all the equities that are creating that new golden cross signal. So maybe one of the first things that what I might do as far as my due diligence, maybe I might sort <clears throat> by industry. And then what I might be doing here is I'm looking for an industry that has, uh, you know, some significance or that is outperforming uh, the greater market. But let's jump right into the flip charts here for a second. And this is where we're going to do that kind of that initial chart analysis. So up here in the right-hand corner here, you can see there's a box here. And it says this is change and save templates. So in here, what we can do is you can create your own templates based on a multiple of criterias. But we do offer some bar chart templates, uh, these default templates. And if I go to that bar chart templates... Notice that one of our templates is the golden cross and death cross. So let's turn that on. And so what we can see here on Mohawk Industries, right, is this a good candidate based on the fact that today it's giving us a golden cross signal? Well, I think from what we just talked about, we could agree that, yeah, this is not a good candidate because price is still below both our 200-day and our 50-day moving average. Let's go to FTNT or Fortinet, and we see a different story, don't we? Here we see the blue line is crossing over, and yet our price action is above both of our moving averages. And if we really kind of looked at our 200-day moving average here, it certainly looks like our 200-day moving average has started to slowly turn upward. But again, in terms of confirmational, how I would define an uptrend, I might not just jump into this trade at this moment. What I might wait for is for price 
to get above this most recent high or break out of this level of resistance. In other words, making a new high. So once I've started to go through these candidates that are in being derived today, what I could do is start to collect them and create a watch list. And so that's what we'll do. We're going to create a new watch list. And that watch list we'll just call a golden cross. Now you notice that this name already exists and I already have the golden cross as a name. So what I'm going to do is I just add this stock to my golden cross watch list. Whoops. And there it will be added to that. So let's go to my golden cross watch list. And what I did was for this webinar is over the last oh, three or so days, I just started throwing in stocks that gave us the golden cross indication. And I did that initial analysis. Is price above our moving averages? Do I see other technical information? In other words, you know, a gap above the 200 day or I see a nice trending market in the 50 day time frame. It eliminated those where price was still below the 200 day. And again, let's go to our flip charts. And I'm going to turn back on our bar chart template. And, you know, here's uh, Geospace. And you can see, right, nice uptrending 50 day moving average. Our Price action is making a series of higher highs and higher lows. And as we can see today, you know, it looks like price is now broken above a significant swing high or a level where price had stopped going up and then started going down. So at this point, if I was a trader who wanted to take a buy signal based on the golden cross, here would be that confirmational inf information that will allow me to take this as the signal as is. Or I could still wait and look for a better opportunity at some other time. Let's go to, let's see what we got here. Who do, oh, Airbnb. I'm interested in that one. Again, a, a similar type of chart, right? Our 50-day is turn up positive. Our 200-day is kind of moving sideways. And our price action is now above both moving averages. But what we see a little bit different here than we saw in the geospace one is, you know, maybe we wait for that confirmational idea of let's see if we can make a new high. So maybe... A better trade would be to wait until we take out this high, which looks like it's around 144. And finally, I see FedEx, another popular stock. And certainly this one has a lot of good characteristics as well. Notice how our price action is a series of higher highs, and higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. But we're only getting the golden cross signal as of today. And so that, or I guess this was a two days ago. So again, a confirmational indicator would be let's wait for this market to make a new higher high after we've gotten the golden cross signal. So let's go back to our watch list. And so what we can do as I collect this watch list, let's say I don't have enough time every day to come in and look at this watch list. One of the things I can do is I can come in here where it says screener. 
And I'm going to screen on this watch list. Notice I have my watch list here. It says Golden Cross. And one of the things we said was let's look at new highs. So I'm going to click on new highs. And I'm going to set what is called a new high date. And let's use, let's say, a three-month high. In other words, you know, three months is six, you know, 20 trading days in a month. That's 60 days. We're using a 50-day moving average. You know, we're kind of saying, hey, we want to see the market making a new high that is in line with our 50-day moving average. I'm going to add that screen. And then what I'm going to say is tell me or show me of these stocks, which ones are making a new high, and I can choose the time frame. In this case, I could say session, meaning today. But let's see of those in the Golden Cross that I just picked are making a new three-month high in the last week. And there we get uh, that list has now been narrowed down to us. And again, I could go to my template and look at those candidates from the, the filter of our 200-day moving average. So again, this one looks like it has made a new three-month high, but we're getting that buy signal in the Golden Cross, yet do you feel comfortable taking a long position in this market? You know, I would say I would want to wait for a greater confirmational information and that would be probably, let's say, I want to see price get above this high or price get above this high here. Let's see. Here's our geo again. And that one, again, has made a new three-month high, but now has broken. Looks like it's made a new you know, almost six month or eight month new high. Again, what did we talk about? The uh, golden cross delaying our entry and this longer term gain. So what I can do now is because I don't want to have to do this process every day, I'm going to save this screener. I'm going to call this, let's say, our 30... Whoop, 30-day high, golden cross. And I could put other details in there. And now what I'm going to do is part of a premium package, if you have that, I'm going to send this email to myself at the end of the day where it's going to screen on that criteria, that 30-day high, based on the list of those candidates that I've already discovered. And then it'll send that to me at the end of the day. And so that at that point, now I can make that decision and do the other due diligence uh, that I want to do. And that could be by just going by the symbol itself for here. Here's that Fortnite. And, you know, I can start looking at other details, you know, price earnings ratios, fundamental and stuff. Uh, you know, look at our volume compared to our average volume. You know, probably want to see, you know, our volume above our average volume. That would be a great indication. Um, you know, I can look at analysts, see how many analysts like this particular stock. Um, I could learn about what the stock business is. Um, and then, you know, Bar Chart also offers uh, a technical opinion based on 13 uh, technical indicators that will also help uh, with your information process. All right. So that's kind of how the process, how we select uh, candidates based on the Golden Cross. But there's also another page that we can use, which is under our stock page. And that is called our new recommend recommendation page. And that's this page here. And so there you can see there's our 50, 200-day uh, MACD moving average crossover. 
Uh, and you can see there's those 22 stocks that we just talked about. And again, I could screen on these. I could look at other information. One of the things that Bar Chart of offers us is different views. I could look at this from a performance view, say how has these individual stocks done over the last month, how they've done over the last three months or over year to date. And I can also look at some basic fundamental information, market cap, PE ratios, earnings per share, net income, a beta, dividend, dividend yield. And again, part of being a subscribed member is I can create my own custom views. And I do have one where I look at an array of uh, fundamental analysis, not much different from the ones that are in um, the default views. So let's say, um, you know, again, you don't have enough time on a daily basis to come and do this process. Or maybe you had an idea. Let's say you were at the barber shop, and you know your barber told you, "Hey, you know the technology stocks or the tech sector is ripping, and you know Apple is driving the market higher." And you and you want to do this process. Well, what we can do is we can just go into again into our stock section, and here I'm under stock market sectors. And, you know, let's say in the last five days, we can see the information technology sector. Yeah, it is outperforming. It's one of the outperforming sectors, um, even for the last, I believe, the last three months. It's one of the ones that is on the, on the upper end of the range. So you could say to yourself, OK, well, here's a sector that is outperforming. So let's look at this through the lens of the uh, um, Golden Cross. So I'll click on the sector and, you know, here's all the stocks that are in that particular sector. Now, notice that Apple is at the top of a list, and that has certainly been one of the stocks that has been in the headlines of recent. After making, I think, a low in December, it's been on a particular tear. But let's go back to our bar chart template, Golden Cross, and what do we see? Well, we see that as good as Apple has been, it has yet to make a golden cross. So if you were a long-term investor, you know, here is where you're not going to get sucked in by the hype around Apple. And we're going to wait patiently to see what happens over the next month or two and see if we can get a golden cross. Matter of fact, as I was doing this, looking at this this morning, you know, three of the first four tech stocks have yet to create a golden cross. And not until we get to analog devices do I see a good candidate. Again, let's go back to our process here. Here we have the golden cross crossover. And what did we say? We want to wait for a confirmation that we have a new uptrend. What would be one of those things? Well, again, looking for um, a new high over a shorter period of time. In this case, you know, either this high here or going back to, you know, this August high. And did we get that? Well, we certainly got it right over here. So that would have been a good time to re-engage or invest in this particular um, stock based on the Golden Cross information and that confirmation of making a new high. Now, what has price done since then? Well, you know, it, it got a big gap up and now it's back holding the support level, old resistance, new support. And again, we're in for this for the long term. Yeah, we missed out on a little bit of the gains, but certainly uh, this stock has, is performing just as the Golden Cross um, uh, had indicated. All right. All right. Again, so where could I take this information? I don't have to have a certain sector. Maybe I don't know a sector. So here's a watch list that I have. This is the Dow 30. You know, the 30 stocks in the Dow. And again, you know, what I might just do on this one is 
I'm going to reverse engineer. I'm going to go back to my screener now. I'm going to look at my saved screeners. And hopefully my saved screener is in here. Uh, it should be down here at the bottom. There it is. And what I'm doing is I'm doing the Golden Cross watch list. And what I'm going to also do is I'm going to add, excuse me, no, I know I, I did this the wrong way, Gene. I right, went one, one step too far. Let's do this. Let's go back to our watch list. And let me go back to my Dow watch list here. And let's look at our flip charts. And again, there's there's our Apple. It's a good, good example of what we're not looking for. Here's Boeing, right? A much better candidate, again, from the point of our crossover where would have would have been uh, in this trade? Well, you know, again, maybe you know above one of these two highs here, or we would have waited till we got above this high over here. Caterpillar, again, much better looking candidate than Apple. And let's look at a couple of bad examples. So here's J and J. Right, J and J went from right death cross to giving us a golden cross, right? But we didn't get that confirmation. We didn't make that new high after the golden cross signal, and then price did what? It fell back below our moving averages. Now we have a death cross. So again, patience is a virtue. And the final example I wanted to show you in this one is Microsoft. Again, another stock that has been in the headlines, yet it has yet to create that golden cross. All right. So I think I've given you a lot of good examples of how to use this and how you can collect um, you know, candidates, creating these watch lists, how to you know, then a screen on those watch lists. So let's talk about a little bit about risk management, and then I'm going to answer some of your questions. So I'm going to go to another watch list here, and this one is our 23 for 23. This is a webinar we did at the beginning of the year, and these are 23 stocks based on uh, a criteria that I laid out in that webinar about stocks that are, that I want would want to buy this year. Again, not a recommendation, just a certain based on a certain criteria. And again, let's go to our flip charts. And here's our Valero. And let's go back to our template. And remember our Valero example, right? We wanted to wait patiently until we got that price action above our moving averages after the golden cross. And you can see that, you know, for this particular stock, if we wait until we get the death cross, we would still be in this position. Now, there is that intestinal fortitude, you know, like in the light of this price decline here, you know, as an investor, you know, can you stomach or every investor has a different risk tolerance, you know, the, it might have been very difficult to hold on to a trade that went from, let's say, $147, you know, all the way back down uh, to $100. And certainly here we can see that price has dropped back below our 200-day moving average. Again, that might be one of your risk measurements. But what I wanted to show you here is, again, remember, as a long-term investor, we're in for this for the long run. And so what we might do is just trust the signal itself and wait for that death cross or that cross over the 50 below the 200. But if I used, let's say, a combination of 
confirmations, in this case, price below the 200-day moving average. And just as we looked at a three-month high, we could say, let's see if price closes below the 200-day moving average, it makes a new three-month low. Now, in this case, it did not. But let's go to another example. And here's ADM. And, you know, price did go below the 200-day moving average. And this was back in January. And somewhere in here, we probably made a new three-month low. And so we probably would have been stopped out somewhere around there if we use that methodology or we would have just waited until we got that death cross signal that told us to exit the market now again in terms of a trader you know you have to understand that you know here's a stock that was very close to a hundred dollars and now has dropped almost 20 percent but again remember the game that we're in is this long-term play and you can see that since the golden cross back in what is this august of 2020 you know this stock has actually doubled in price based on this trading system and we went from forty dollars to a hundred dollars to getting stopped out at eighty dollars so I think that is a good reinforcement of how a long-term investor or a buy and hold trader can use the golden cross and this exit signal of the death cross as risk management. Now, if you can't take a 20% loss, then there are other methodologies you can use in terms of stopping yourself out. But again, you might miss out for instance, on this sell-off here, you might miss out on all these potential returns. Okay. So I try to make that as easy to digest for you all, and I think I think I made my point. So let me do this. I do see a lot of questions that are popped through, and let me see if I can answer a few of these, and then we'll, we'll finish up with um, some takeaways. So... Hey, so John, while you take a moment to review the questions, I just want to address the elephant in the room here. I guess uh, some of our users are having audio issues where um, the audio was cutting in and out or the uh, their browser window was stalling and they had to refresh. You will be able to watch the recording of this. You know, I, I'm really sorry about this. Uh, we've had zero audio issues issues here as we're recording, so I'm confident that the recording that we'll post on our website and YouTube later on is uh, going to be just just good, so we'll, we'll get that out to you a little bit later on. Again, apologies for the issues. We will get this uh, resolved, and back over to you, John. Thanks, Jean. All right, so Jim asks, is there some historical uh, success rate to this strategy? So Jim, yeah, it, it, every market or every stock is a different story. Uh, I kind of laid out that historical um, for you on the S&P. Um, I didn't have a research not notation, but I have read research that says that when you look at single stock, uh, stock specific golden cross that actually the performance over a year is a lot uh, a lot higher it's closer to let's say a 20 or 25 percent return um again it's about the success rate too and one of the in that original study that i mentioned the um the study was basically said that in terms of those 36 golden crosses, I think it was 78% of those turned out to have a 12-month um, success rate. So there is a lot of onus uh, behind this, this strategy. Um, it looks like uh, Michelle asked a question about the golden cross occurrence in the S&P around January was automatically followed by a steady 4% down instead of, as it predicted. Um, can I explain this? Again, what did I say to you? 
that the Golden Cross is just a tool for us and that we needed some other type of confirmation. Now, uh, you know, if I went to the S&P, now I, I'm going to go to the S&P here, and I don't want you guys to get confused, but I do have my S&P is um, already marked up from a lot of other, you know, one of the things we do on our market on close session on Fridays, we look at the S&P on a regular basis. So we can look at that in terms of from the, from the point of um, uh, the Golden Cross. And that was right around there. Yeah, you know, again, in terms of the Golden Cross itself, yeah, we did get that impulse up. But, you know, have we gotten the death cross on the reverse side, right? So, yeah, again, this is we're in for this for the long run. We're not in for this for the short run. So there's still potential for this for the S&P to go higher over a longer period of time. Remember, this Golden Cross only happened in back in, uh, you know, the beginning of February, right? What did we say? We might want to wait and delay our entry until we confirm an uptrend. And since that Golden Cross, which happened right here, have we made a new uptrend? No, we haven't. Or have we made a new high? No, we haven't. From the point of the Golden Cross. Okay. Um, so John asks, is, the, is Golden Cross the reverse of the Death Cross? Yes. What is the best time scale to chart and use the 50 and 200 day moving average? So again, we're talking about daily time frames here. So we're looking at daily moving averages. Uh, but there are traders who do use the 50 and 200 at multiple time frame analysis. In other words, at different higher and lower time frames. Um, and there's a question here again about some of our sister moving averages crossovers. And one of the more popular ones is the 20 and 100. And yeah, there's a lot of correlation between uh, the, how I laid out the Golden Cross as in particular the 20 and 100. And you can use these in lower time frames. Just remember, we're talking about buy and hold and long-term uh, trading. So that's why we probably want to stick with dailies. Uh, so Fab asks about suggestions for exiting trades. I think, Fab, I went across a, a multiple of those. Again, you know, if I'm a longer-term investor, maybe I just wait for that death cross. Or if I'm, you know, uh, risk-averse, you know, maybe I'll, I'll pick a – percentage value from a peak price. In other words, let's say market makes a, a high or all-time high or a new new six-month high. Maybe I'll say, you know, if this market pulls back 20%, that's probably a bad signal, right? Because if we're in an uptrend, you know, maybe you'll see pullbacks of 5 6 10%. But if by the time the market has moved back 20%, you know, you Maybe that might be a good indication. Again, it could also be just a dollar amount that you're willing to risk, right? Um, so Rodney asked a question about how this works for um, options or in analyzing options. So Rodney, what I would say to you is there is a – I don't know how I explain this – you know, because most traders understand this this um, indicator, there is this kind of self fulfilling prophecy that when we do get the crossovers, that you will get kind of an impulse or a knee jerk reaction. So, as an options trader, in anticipation of price crossing over the with the two hundred day moving average and the excuse me the golden cross two two hundred day moving average. You could play the impulse as traders rush into that market, playing that signal. Again, maybe on a short-term basis, maybe do some type of debit call spread would be a good way to do that. 
again, maybe the better trade would be to wait for a confirmational entry and then look at, you know, maybe some longer term dated calls or a really great strategy that I've used is once I've identified an uptrend after a golden cross is, you know, using some credit type spreads. In other words, you know, selling put uh, spreads, you know, uh, bullish pull put uh, options trade. That would be a great trade because now you know that in essence, you know, you have the 200 day or the 50 day moving average as support. And as long as the price stays above there, you know, there's a good chance that puts below there are going to expire worthless. So that's an idea for you for um, options trading. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go back to our charts and our takeaways here. So here's a little checklist for you. So the Golden Cross just permits us as an investor to proceed with due diligence. Now, again, what are some of those other due diligence um, I didn't go into it, but you could, let's say, screen on volume, right? And you come back in here and templates. Now, there are a lot of ways you can screen on volume or show do a template on volume. I have one that's created based on volume and um, average volume. So what I would kind of want to see is, you know, a rising Average volume, that would be a good way to criterize um, or confirmational. So let's go back to our Golden Cross um, watch list. And I'll, I think I have a good example for you. Hey, John, so, you're going to want to have to show your chart, please. Yeah, I know. I'm going to put it up right now. Okay. So what I did was I went back to our Golden Cross, and what do we see here, for instance, in geospace is, right, we see a rising average volume. And here we get on today's breakout, right, that breakout of that above that previous high, we see a spike in volume. So that would be another confirmational piece of information for me. In other words, probably new buyers coming into the money, people putting money to work would be a great um, idea for us. You know, if we look at, for instance, like Meta, right, what do we see? Well, yeah, we did get that spike here, but since then, you know, the moving average of volume has you know, kind of turn negative. So what I might want to wait for is not only the confirmation above this most recent high, but also an upturn in um, our volume. Okay. All right. So again, patience is the key to success to the spy hold strategy, right? Because our timeline is a lot longer than let's say short term. Uh, traders, a lot of questions here are about how we can apply this to short-term trading. Really, this is better designed for our long-term investors. And waiting for those proper market conditions, right? Again, those confirmations. Maintaining the trust in the golden cross signal, even during periods of poor um, or short-term performance and price dec declines. Again, we're in our time horizon is going to be a year, two years, three years, five years. And as long as we're maintaining price and our golden cross is still a buy signal, then we'll stay in that trade. But every trade needs a plan and every plan needs a stop. And so we need to choose a definitive stop point. For instance, the example that I gave you was, you know, say a close below the 200 day moving average and a new three month low. But the easiest and simple stop would be uh, the death cross. And again, remember that the golden cross is just a technical analysis tool and should not be used as the only data point in your investment decision. Okay.
All right. Well, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Hopefully we can get that figure out. But maybe, you know, I don't want to put it the onus on you. Maybe it's just some, a browser issue, Gene, right? That could be a possibility, right? We will be looking into it. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, so in terms of what's up for next week, our next webinar, today was kind of a basic and simple. We're going to dive back into the deep end of advance. Okay, John, can you show your screen, please? Yeah, thanks, Gene. Yeah, we're going to dive back into the deep and advance. And two weeks ago, we did a webinar on the anchored VWAP. And that was really for more of our swing type traders. Uh, we're going to look at how to use the volume weighted average price for day trading. And so, um, you know, even for swing traders, if you have a day of action, you can use the techniques that I'm going to show you to help time your entry a little bit better on a day basis. So we're going to go we're going to go deep in the weeds on this one. But I think for my day traders or those of you who like to trade shorter time frames, uh, you're going to enjoy this uh, segment. And as Gene reminded you that all of our sessions end up on our YouTube page. And I want to also remind you that for those of you who are premier members, on Fridays we have a show called Market Unclosed where we do a little bit of in-depth analysis from the macro level and also from the technical. We look at some news stories that are topical and look for some trading opportunities. Now, if you are not a premier member, well, we do offer a 30-day trial um, process. And so you can come in here, try out some of these features, especially some of the screening features that I demonstrated are premium features. And you can try out a premium membership for 30 days and also get an opportunity to watch the market on close. And All John, right. do me one last favor, go back to the bar chart site. And I know you pointed out our the, the YouTube link, go to the archived webinars page. That's where the recording is going to show up right, right there. I mean, we don't have it there obviously right now, but uh, you can also watch it on our website um, or on YouTube later on this afternoon. We'll get it out there shortly. Yeah, there's that anchored VWAP that we did two weeks ago. So if you're interested in that, you can find that one as well. Okay, Gene. Well, new platform, a new start. I think things went well, right? I'm happy with what went on. Um, thanks, Gene, for your help in moderating today. I think that went a lot better too. So I appreciate your help on that. So folks, I want to just say to you is, be safe out there, uh, the best of health, and the good of all trading.